Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode. Today we're in part three of the series, How to Start a Garden, and we are talking about your propagation setup or seed starting setup, whatever you wanna call it. Propagation is just a fancy term for starting seed. So I'm gonna show you all mine, it's here behind me, and let's get into it. So unless you're wanting to spend the money buying plants at your local nursery, which can be anywhere from three to $5 a plant, you're gonna to wanna to have some type of seed starting area or propagation setup. Um, a lot of people, you know, if you have a southern facing window, um, this can sometimes work starting seed on that windowsill, allowing those plants to get sunlight um, throughout the spring as you're preparing plants to go into the ground um, once the frost has cleared. However, plants can a lot of times get leggy on a windowsill, and so creating some type of indoor greenhouse setup is going to be your best bet. So, as you can see here, I've got mine set up on a rack that I bought from Costco or Sam's. You can buy these um, online and it's a little bit messy because this is also my office. I'm a realtor as well. So um, it also keeps it out of the house because it obviously looks pretty tacky. So um, what I've got here is I've got two grow lights. So these are from Bootstrap Farmer and I usually put lettuce up on this top row because I want that light to be fairly close to those lettuce seedlings. Granted, I don't have anything growing right now because we're going into the fall and I have cover crop in the ground. But that's all it is. It's pretty simple. You strap grow lights. You can do this with um, multiple setups. There's a million different um, grow lights that you can buy. Again, these are from Bootstrap. And these are um, a couple that I had tested out from a company out of Seattle and um, I've just kept them. And so I'll put, you know, for instance, I'll put my tomato plants that I've started in here and, you know, they can grow up and they're not getting leggy. The last thing you want to do is those tomato plants to get real leggy if you're starting those inside. So this is my setup. It's pretty simple. It's very effective. It allows me to control the temperature because obviously it's in the house. And so it's, you know, it's going to be around 70 degrees most of the time. Um, you do want to have some type of air circulation. I've got some fans here on the side. Also can turn the overhead fan on or this. That's gonna help just get some airflow and make sure that you're not growing any mold on top of your soil. And so that's also another reason you don't wanna overwater those seedlings when you're growing them inside. So um, this is pretty easy, cost effective. These are pretty expensive grow lights. I think they're $100 each. However, um, they last a really, really, really long time. They're LEDs, so they don't suck a lot of energy. Um, and so that's, that's my simple setup here in my office. So some of you may be asking, why don't you have an outdoor greenhouse? Um, I would love a greenhouse eventually. However, the issue is, um, you know, even let's say it gets really cold down into the twenties one night and you have little seedlings out there in your greenhouse, even though that greenhouse is covered, if it's not heated or cooled, then it's gonna affect those seedlings. And so for instance, if, if it's not heated and it gets down to 20 degrees, those seedlings are gonna die. Um, and so to me, it can be a hassle unless that greenhouse can be heated. Um, it can be a hassle moving them in and out, making sure they don't croak in the greenhouse. In this setup, I can bottom water my plants and I can. it's highly controllable in this setting. However, if I got to where I had, you know, hundreds of hundreds of plants um, that I was, it, you know, this greenhouse, indoor greenhouse rack can get pretty packed in the springtime. Um, however, it's just for a, a season. And so um, this is a great setup for me. And I wanted to show you all this. You do need some form of a propagation setup again, or you're gonna spend hundreds upon hundreds of dollars at the uh, local nursery of your choice buying plants. And so it's also really rewarding starting plants from seeds. You learn a lot. And so I would highly encourage it. The last thing I'll say, and I'll do another video of this in the future in the springtime, but you're gonna to wanna to harden off your seedlings. Um, they've been growing, for instance, if they've been growing in an indoor greenhouse where it's 70 degrees and there's no you know, severe storms or anything like that, those seedlings aren't ready to just be moved out and planted in the ground. And so the process of preparing those plants, getting used to the normal elements outside is called hardening, hardening them off, or, or you need to harden your plants off. I'll do another video on this in the future, um, but you want to be aware of that as you're taking your plants that are grown and ready to be transplanted out into the field. 
Um, you need to harden those off. And so I wanted to end on that. But if you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions whatsoever. I'm here to help you. I'm super passionate about gardening, homesteading, and uh, my goal is just to help. So I'll see you all in the next video.